Hello, this is Gary Schnitke, and this is a Farm Doc Insight on the Crop Insurance Premium Calculator. The Crop Insurance Premium Calculator is an online tool that is linked to in this description. And on that tool, you can get premium quotes for a particular farm situation. You can use this premium calculator if you want to know what the premium will be that a farmer will pay for crop insurance. And we give those premiums for all different types of, uh, of crop insurance products and coverage levels. The particular knowledge that you will gain from this tool is what those premiums are. And now we're going to demonstrate how to use that tool. When that tool becomes available, you're going to enter various pieces of information you are going to in input location and crop data crop type crop data and then it's going to give farm level policy and county level policy information the first thing that you will enter when you are on the farm, the premium calculator web website is your state county and crop there will be drop down boxes for which you can choose your state we are going to choose Illinois. We are going to particularly look at our county will be Champaign, and we are going to do corn. Once we make these selections, we are going to come up with some, some county or excuse me, crop level information. The first one, and, and we give defaults for all these information. So if you want to do just a quick and dirty quote for a county, just use our defaults. The first one is trend adjustment. Most people use the trend adjustment. The trend adjustment increases the guarantee yield and uh, for, for, for a crop. And again, most people use the trend adjustment. We also have a, a yield exclusion option. But again, most people use the trend adjusted yield. So in most cases, that answer question will be yes. The next thing we will do, ask you is your trend adjusted yield, and this is the guarantee yield. It's based on a history of the farm or farm yields, and it is trend adjusted up. This is what the guarantee will be based on when you purchase your crop insurance. If you select trend adjustment, this trend adjusted yield will be higher by for corn, usually about 10 bushels, than the APH yield which is the unadjusted historic yield. And if you have 10 yields from, from a unit, it will be based on the simple average of those 10 yields. If we have four or less yields, there will be substitutions made, and, and, and those substitutions will typically uh, result in a very low APH yield. Our APH yield then is usually equal to the rate yield, and the rate yield is, is, is before any adjustments are used for your APH yield. If you're, again, looking for a quote for a particular farm parcel and just want to go through it fairly quickly, adjust the trend adjusted yield up 10 bushels from the APH yield. And in most cases, the APH yield and the rate yield are the same. We will then go through a set of types and practices, and the most, most likely is the default. For corn, our type is grain. If you have specialty crops, there are, uh, there, are, there are types for those specialty crops. Practice is non-irrigated, and again, if you irrigated have irrigated corn, you would enter irrigated here. Risk class. And most of the time, you will be selecting none. If you are in a county with high-risk land and are making a quote for high-risk land, those risk classes will come up here. Here, we've selected none. Those risk classes can be triple A, triple B, or triple C. So, and if you are wondering whether you are in high-risk uh, uh, farmland, you will know when you're in high risk farmland. Uh, so usually if you don't know, just select none. Prevent plant, there's various options for prevent plant. Most farmers buy none. 
plus 5% means that the prevent plant payment will be 5% higher when that uh, payment occurs. We asked for acres. Acres impacts the, the premiums a little bit. The higher the number of acres in general, the, the lower the premium will be a little bit. We come in up with estimates of the projected price. Before February 28th, it will be the running average of, uh, of uh, projected or settlement prices during the month of February. After February 28th, it will be the actual projected price. The volatility factor will also be set at the end of February. We use defaults before February and follow what the current market, uh, market uh, is given for those for the volatility you can change both the projected price and the volatility and you will get different premium calculations once you've entered all those you can calculate premiums and again you can always come back and look at those premiums there will be two main panels of premiums the first one is farm level premiums, and we're going to blow that up. And we have those premiums for different products. And within the product, we have three different units, enterprise, basic, and optional. If you're looking at premiums, they will be the lowest for enterprise units, second lowest for basic, and the most high for optional. Enterprise Units and, and the units in general are the aggregation used to determine the yield when we calculate the yield guarantee and the actual yield. Enterprise is all for one crop in one county, so it takes all the corn policies and aggregates them up into enterprise unit. A basic is all one crop in one county with the same ownership split. So own land and cash rent land would be one basic unit, and then there would be a basic unit for each share rental arrangement. So, enterprise, basic, and then finally optional. And optional units take those basic units and dividing them out by township sections. So those enterprise units, basic units, and optional units premiums are given for each product, and we also give the minimum revenue guarantee. This is the guarantee that if revenue goes below it, you will get payments. Note that there that revenue protection and RP with harvest price exclusion has a revenue guarantee. Yield protection has a yield uh, yield guarantee, which is given in bushels per acre. Again, those terms: enterprise, basic, and optional minimum revenue guarantee. We then give premiums for different coverage levels and for the farm level products they range from 50 to 85 percent in our example here we have a 34 dollar and 70 cent premium and that's a farmer paid premium that would be what the farmer pays for the product 34.70 for enterprise units and revenue protection if we want to use basic units you can see that the price premium goes up from 3470 to 4856 and then optional units goes from 4856 to 5517 so here you can get a feel for what it would cost to make uh, different choices with enterprise basic and optional units revenue protection are over at the at the left hand side of the screen that's the most commonly used product. Revenue protection with harvest price exclusion is, uh, is revenue protection, but it doesn't allow its harvest price to go up. We will link to descriptions of the products in the video below, and then yield protection. Yield protection is a yield product. We also give premiums for county level policies. And these actually follow the same terminology as do the, the farm level policies, but they pay payments based on county level yields and revenue, not farm level yields. 
Here we have area revenue protection, which is, again, county revenue versus RP, which is farm level, area revenue protection with harvest price exclusion, and area yield protection. Here we do not have the units, the enterprise basic and optional units. Instead, we have a price protection level, and farmers can make choices between 120 and 80%. The higher the protection level, the higher the premium, and the higher the payment when they occur. 80% is the lowest, and we'll have the lowest premiums and the lowest payments when they occur. Here, an 85% coverage level has a 58.34 premium. Again, per, for pretty high premium. 95%, uh, which we can change, has 46.19, and 80%, 38.89. We also give the expected yield, which is RMA's estimate of the expected yield for that county, and that's 215 bushels per acre. So those are available for all counties and crops for which revenue plans are available. So that's a description of the premium calculator. This is again available on our FarmDoc website, and the Link to that is given in the video description below.